Now, this is an interview with Detective Jane Joy Wilson, triple one six eight dash twenty four B, conducted at Police Internal Investigations Headquarters, in the matters regarding Senior Detective Michael Brown and Detective Robert John Walsh. I joined the service straight out of school. I was eighteen. I always wanted to be a detective. Pit myself against the crooks. Outsmart them. Everything was so black and white. There was a right and a wrong, good and a bad. I believed in the law. I believed in upholding the right. I thought the law was a good set of rules and there could be justice for all. Well. I was young. This bitch has robbed as a Queensland banana. About a week, I reckon. What do you reckon, a clover? I'll make a Dero. We're not getting dirty for a fucking Dero, no way. Tide's going out. We South Melbourne's by the morning. Now you're talking. What about the cleans? Looks like a false alarm, boys. Sir? Yeah, I can see how the constable's got confused, Detective. Ah, uh, definitely has a look, senior. Couple more years under their belt, they'll develop a policeman's eye. Yeah, practice makes perfect. Sir? I don't understand. Don't sweat it, Constable. You can easily see how you could mistake that piece of plastic for a floater. It happened to anyone, mate. Plastic? Sir, with all due respect, sir... It's got a face. How long have you blokes been in the field? Um, three weeks. We know a body when we see one. You got plans for tonight, senior? Well, I was hoping to have a smooth shift tonight, detective. Likewise, senior. Of course, if we were to be on the end of a floater... Jesus, perish that thought, detective. Ooh, that'd make it an absolute bastard of a shift. All the paperwork, the autopsy. Fair to say, we'd be absolutely pissed. We wouldn't be forgetting that in a hurry. That's not the worst of it, senior. Poor constable's on the end of a call like that. Well, they have to get down in the drink, fish the bastard out. And we are talking messy. The photo's what we call a fairy tale situation, boys. Grim. Anyway, there was a floater in the river tonight. Well, the tide had sooner or later taken over to South Melbourne. It'd be a South Bank problem, wouldn't it? Those bricks can do some work for a change. So, what's it going to be, boys? Okay, sir. Will that be all? I grab us a uh, branch or a stick or something, Chris.
mongrel is dead. What happened, Evan? Someone confess? Ah, uh, police work, Walshy. Deduction, detection, something you wouldn't know a lot about, mate. You're a dead set Sherlock Holmes, mate. Well, he sure as shit ain't John Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, Steve. Congratulations. Thank you. And stuff you too, JJ. Good work on the Quinn killing Evans. There's a plea on the table. We'll take it. And? Manslaughter. Oh, what? I don't want any grief on this. It's taken and that's all there is to it. Now, come on, people. Let's have some more black up here. Jesus Christ, what's the fucking point? For what we are about to receive, let us be truly grateful. Homicide, Detective Jane Wilson speaking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where? 20 minutes. Okay. Heads up, Robbie. We got a red ball. Looks pretty clean. See anything else? No. Hey, detectives. Is it the prick? What can you tell us? Keep those pricks well fucking back. Wilson. Yes, sir. Now I've got a girl about eight or nine. Vietnamese, I think. The kids are kids, sir. No, somewhere else just dumped here. Well, we don't know anything till the autopsy, but rape definitely. It's messy. No, there won't be anything. This prick knows what he's doing. There's more than deja vu. There's trophy mutilation. Yeah, it's him. No, sir, there is no doubt in my mind. He's back. Here, Junior, take a poke. No, that's okay, sir. Go on. Make you feel better. No, it's all right, sir. Go on, mate. We won't see anything. It leaves the tension. It gets it out of the system very nicely. I, I, don't, I don't want to. It's the only satisfaction you get on the job. It's a heart attack at 40 for you. Shit for brains. While me... Feed <laughs> 100. Go <laughs> on. Piss off. Give us some privacy while we break the suspect. And tell the boys to turn the place over. Johnny Spinks. You pathetic little idiot. I thought you had a reputation. You know, as a hard nut. Get fucked. What do you reckon, Maxie? Does this guy look tough to you? No way. My thoughts exactly. Maybe he's a Clark Kent or something. Is that right, Ronnie? Is there a bloody Superman in there? What are you fucking bastards on about, eh? Oh, what? You mean you're not bulletproof? Give me a fucking break, will ya? And why the fuck are you asking to get pinged? I ain't done nothing, you fucking bastard. Oh, what are you, a bloody lawyer now? How do you know what's nothing or not? You've stepped on some toes, did you? Get fired. This guy's a cool one, Maxie. Oh. Now, why do you reckon that is? I think he had a guardian angel looking after him. I can look after myself, mate. Sure you can, Ronnie, but a little bit of protection. Now, that wouldn't be helping, would it? You said it. I didn't. Hey. Oh. Where's your protection now, stud? Ah, oh. you gotta learn, Ronnie. Well, not even a certain patron from CIB can save your ass from us. Oh. Now, where's the rest of your stash? Oh, that's it, dickhead. You think I carry more than that on me, huh? She'll be worth a fucking piss week fine, huh? It's a pleasure to bust the nuts off a smart ass like oh. that. How do you constables go? Uh. Looks like heroin, sir. Uh. Sure does. Huh? That's bullshit! You fucking load me up! Oh, so about two ounces. You fucking dog! You fucking stitch me up, you fucking mongrel pig! Himself out of that one, eh? Nine years old. How do you pronounce this, Wang Hu? Hung. My name's Trin Hung. Trin Hung. Girlfriend's called a Tina in the interviews. Leaves here with a mum and dad. 
Because that's her grandmother. Is she the only child? Yeah. So how do you want to play it? I'm the primary. Just thought if you wanted me to do it, I'd This is mind. my case, Robbie. You said the 19th floor, yeah? 196B. So let's do it. Mrs. Hong? We found your baby. Detective Brown. Stitch it up, did you? Right. Nearly broke my hand on the noisy little prick. No way he'll be going down quietly. Good. I'll teach Hill to stick his nose in my business. You think Robbie Walsh around lately? Yeah. He's around. You make sure you pass on my regards. Bleeding suggests mechanical penetration. Left and right orioles missing. Suggest bite. Opening the chest cavity. I can't do this one. Yes, you can. You got something for me? Down. 
Got to check with Sullivan. He'll be clear by now. You're going to be all right? Can you help me, Mommy? We've got to get him this time, okay? He's going down. That's a fact. How can I help you? Rick Mills, I'm the manager. Detective Tony Johnson, Detective David Wright, Gaming and Vice Squad. I'll cut straight to the chase, Rick. Oh, I've just come in to have a bit of a chat about some of the stock you've been retailing. You see, it seems we've had quite a few complaints. Oh, yeah? You're selling some goods here that are causing quite a degree of offence to certain members of the general public. Now, hey, look, we specialise in adult products. We sell to a very specific clientele. If people don't like it, they should stay away. Yeah, we don't force them to come in here. You don't stop them from coming in either. Now, look, Rick, this is not a restricted establishment, but I have cited in my quick appraisal of some of your goods numerous instances of visuals which would be restricted under the R classification system. This book, for instance. But we're not breaking the law. You can find that book in plenty of legitimate, unrestricted shops. Don't quote the bloody law to me, mate. I am the fucking law. We don't have to get along with you. You have to get along with us. Now, if you keep that in mind, things will be okay. Look, Rick, we're not interested in you. We don't give a shit about you. Our problems are with massage parlours, drugs, child pornographers. A bunch of chinless wonders sticking needles in their dicks. Wanking with rubber gloves is light relief for us. Good for a laugh. But you see, we've had numerous complaints from various quarters, and so we have to come in here like a little lumpet and read you the riot act. Tick you off. Tell you what's what. Understand? Good. So, here's a list of items you want to see removed off the shelf ASAP. If you don't comply... Oh, let's just say we'll make it our personal responsibility to create a very unpleasant life. Christ, this is some of our best stuff. Look, Rick, just get the shit off the fucking shelf, OK? Some of it finds its way under the counter. Special customer. Then that's none of our business. Now, we can't be much fairer than that, can we? Good boy. Now, see, you do the right thing by us, and we'll do the right thing by you, OK? OK? OK. Much more accommodating 
idea, huh, buddy? What a bad idea. I'm just gonna have to restructure it. I don't think so. Well, I'm not asking your permission, detective. I don't fucking like it back here. Well, I don't give a shit what you like or what you don't like. They're back and that's all there is to it. Come on, mate. But you're involved to get emotional. It's just commerce supplying the man, that's all. If it wasn't us, it'd be some other bastards. At least we're keeping the merchandise where it belongs in the slums, yeah. What about this restructuring? Well, I think they'd go another two grand per job. You want me to stitch it up? What do you reckon? You just keep it in perspective. Supply and demand, nothing more. For Christ's sake, Lambs, you're not raiding a bloody gay bar now. Get a move on. Yeah, ladies, jug on these. Give up the bastards. It's my night. Kitty's full of drugs. It's only appropriate that we should win. You're right, partner. You clowns might as well give up now. What am I avoiding again, Lambs? Can with the dent? Uh, oh, give us a look at that can. Just joking, huh? Well, then you wouldn't mind swapping, eh? That's a trouble with cops, they don't trust nobody, all paranoid. Yeah, hang on a sec, give me that. Fuck, ah, come on, you pricks, let's get this show on the road. We ain't got all night. What's the matter, Chris? You got split ends, or you just have to be shampoo like your partner? Mate, it's getting late. We've got to get busy. Some little hard bodies out there. Hard and freaking fast, baby. So we've got to teach him a lesson. Think we want to spend the night with you, ugly pricks? As soon as beer hunt is over, we're off on a shit hunt. Yeah. Careful, Chris. Corrupting a minor is a vice offence. <laughs> I'm thinking more along the lines of erupting right into a sweet young snatch. Yeah. Hey, weren't we hitting the town tonight? Yeah. Well, you can come with us if you like. Well, I'm not up to a hunt. Anyway, you're coming with Bingo and me, Robbie. We've got something to show you. Threesome. Very special. Mm. Go on, Bingo, come you're on, up. the bastard. Uh, um, this is how it's done. Take note. Uh -huh. Ah, yeah. for yeah. Fuck, this is it, shit me. Come on, Robbie, let's go, mate. Got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, cracking. You bloody homicide, no guts. Come on, Robbie, let's go. Hey! Yeah! Life's a bitch, ain't it, Welsh? You're very good, mate. Someone better shut your eyes. Oh, I'm scared. Yeah. What's the matter, man? Not a sore loser, eh? Right? Shut the fuck up, Rich. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot you're just a loser, period. Shut up, you fucking idiot. Rick Caesar. Yeah, it's true, he is a fucking loser. Can't take a joke. Oh, he's never been the same since he got settled with that bitch. Fuck. Oh, yeah, yeah. any time you think you're good enough, Walsh. Hey, 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 ease up. We're all fucking mates. Yeah. Take it easy, Rick. 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 Oh, it's my fault, eh? Hey? I'm the bad guy, yes. not scared of him. Take it easy, I'm Rick. I'm not jerk off. Fuck, 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 I'd like a word with you. Double this up. I don't think so. Police. Just come over here, please, ladies. We won't detain you long. We haven't done nothing wrong. Why are you picking on us? Get over here now. Better do as he says. He's got a short fuse. So, where's the party? We'll answer the detective. <laughs> There's no party. We're just on our way home. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Come on. I know a party girl when I see one. What do you reckon, senior? Well, I'd say definitely, detective. No, we don't. You don't? No. What? Party. Party? Oh, sounds good. We'd love to party. You got something for us? No, we haven't got anything. No? No. What's in here, I wonder? Come 
on, we've got to get home. Boom. Check this out, detective. Whoa, reefer madness. Looks like we're gonna have to haul them in, detective. They've got themselves in a bit of hot water, all right, senior. Shit, it's only grass. Come on, you fucking language. Please come and give us a break. I mean, we've got to get home. It's a school day. What do you think, detective? Should we give him a break? I don't know, senior. Drug offence isn't something to turn a blind eye to. No, serious stuff to take the bread. Please. We promise never to do it again. They're nice girls. I like them. Yeah, they're pretty. Got to ruin their lives. Maybe we should give them a break. Yeah. Oh, thanks. But, um... Well, they'd have to do something for us, don't you think, they did? Oh, definitely, senior. They'd have to earn their pardon. What do you think they're up to? Sure, they're party girls. <laughs> yes. What? What do we have to do? Only what comes naturally to a pretty young party girl. Oh, yeah? What's that? Well, firstly, you've got to learn to say no to drugs. Like in the ads, OK? Sure. I promise. OK, then. Say it. Say what? Say what, sir? Say what, sir? No. I want to hear you say it. Come on. No. You? No. Good. Now get in the car. Why? Where are we going? Well, we're going to party, of course. So get in the car. Come on. Now! Well, I reckon I can go them another two grand a job. What do you reckon? So why have I got the dogs on you? Oh, amongst other things, porn. Kids. Bloody works, mate. He's got his fingers in more pies than Simple Simpson. Simon? It's Simple Simon. Fucking whatever. You're just lucky it was our shift. <laughs> Thank heavens for small mercies, eh? <laughs> well, how small are we talking about? Well, Tone wanted to go thirds, but I figured it was your baby. So we reckon... <laughs> 50%'s a fair cop. You're all high. So, Robbie, how much are we talking? That water looked pretty thick. Well, 50%'s about two and a half there. <clears throat> but as you can see, I was thinking about closing it down. Well, let's just keep those thoughts curbed for a while. Yeah, let us get a few sponges in the bank, eh? Don't you want to know what the shakedown is? <laughs> X and A on that, my friend. Yep. What we don't know can't hurt you. Of course, we'll be taking our cut from this one. Of course you will. Everybody knows your partner fancied himself a hard one. Jesus, you bastards are the limit. Polishing a seat all day, shuffling papers. What do you know about the job? Some pricks need the knuckle. It's the only thing they understand. You know, I've seen creams that would cut your head off and fuck your corpse, then the next day take your mum to church and not bat an eyelid. You look into a face like that? You look into a black hole. Some people don't deserve to live. So, you're speaking for your partner here, Detective? Look, you want someone to dog Detective Walsh, you get someone else. Robbie's a solid cop, he's a good friend. He gets a lot of shit because he's got a woman as a partner, but he never let that get in the way. And we nailed the creep. Whatever you do, whatever you say, you can't take that away from us. We nailed that bastard. So you don't have any bad feelings towards your partner then? Bad feelings? Robbie's my only friend. I love him.
body all right? What do you make of it, Joe? Uh, I think it's just some drunken bum. My thoughts exactly. You say no one else is aware of this concert. Affirmative, sir. We made the discovery. Sir. Okay, then. What we're going to do is ignore this. It doesn't exist. Right? The dead body is the last thing we want here with all this um, upmarket development. It's bad PR. So we turn a blind eye to this. It's an order. Okay? Yes, Sarge. Yes, sir. What about the body? Sir? Well, you leave that to Joe and me. Now, hop it. Now, one more thing, the constables. If I ever get wind of this circulating, well, you know, it would have to be both of you. So keep buttoned up. Sir? Very good. What the bloody hell are we going to do with this stick? I'm not sure as hell they want to fish it out. I don't know. Maybe we could sink it, you know? Throw rocks at it. Good thing. Maybe some bricks. Yeah, that's it. Well, let's get to it. So, how was it for you? You fucking asshole. You had a choice. Please, just let us go. You can go any time you want. No one's holding you. Of course, I'll be confiscating this. I could go now. Sure. Off you go. <laughs> Aren't we forgetting something? What? How about thank you, detective? <laughs> Or words to that effect. We can't be serious. Au contraire. I've never been more serious in my life. Say it. Say it, you little slut. Say thank you, detective. Thank you, detective. Bless you, sweetheart. <laughs> now run along. <laughs> You should catch a cab. Streets at night can be a dangerous place for young girls. So what are you going to recommend? That I get booted from homicide? Is that what you want me to recommend? Enough mind games, I'm asking you. Do you think I should quit homicide? No, you asked me whether I was going to have you pulled. That's a very different... Oh, situation. come on, Rose! No, you come on. Look at me. Look at me. Now, we've made some substantial progress in these sessions. I'm not going to let that slide. You nearly lost it in that autopsy, and now you're losing trust in me. Some progress? This guy's got me right back where I started. I'd like you to take some time off. I can draft a letter for the committee. It won't impact on your file. It'll just be a whole... No, no fucking way. If I don't nail this man now while well, I've got another chance, then I think I've had it. You still think that'll solve your problems? Vengeance is not... Stuff the theories! You know that's the only way I'm ever going to be free. We'd all like to see this one behind bars. Yeah. For now, I'm going to give you a clean bill. But I want to see you in my office every week. You understand? Thanks, mate. Sorry, Detective, how's it going? Hello, Andrew. What do you got there? Just a couple of returns. A couple of returns. 
Right. Better put them straight under the counter. Don't want them straying, winding up in a Lion King box or something like that, eh? Jeez, perish the thought. How much do I owe you? Forty's fine. Cheap at twice the price. I'll just check out some of your videos. So, detective, is it true what they're saying? That nutcase Mr. Freak's back in action? Don't believe everything you see on TV. Oh, sure, I'm not gullible. But that kid dead sounds awful familiar. Everyone reckons it's him, eh? We're currently investigating similarities in various cases. I knew it! I knew you'd be involved in it! Jesus! Homicide, eh? Who'd want to be anything but a homicide cop in pursuit of the ultimate crime? The theft of a human life. You've been watching too many videos, Andrew. What's this one? Oh, yeah, it's top movie, that. You're gonna love that. Action, humour, good story. Okay, then. You know, I've got some ideas how you might catch this freak. You interested? Do I have a choice? Detective, what time is it? No, I'll tell you. It's the late 20th century, and the whole world revolves around one thing. Any ideas? No? Information. Multimedias, internets, superhighways. And the key to everything is contained in one word. You know what it is? I'm sure it will in a minute. Database. Well, two words. Anyhow, that's where it's at. That's where you'll find him. You can bet he's watching plenty of videos. All you've got to do is gather the data from the major chains, which shouldn't be too hard for the cops, and look for the indicators, you know, in rental habits. I mean, what was Frank Bitkovich watching? What about Julian Knight's Rambo fetish? Ivan Malat, what's his bag? What about Patrick Bateman? Who the hell's Patrick Bateman? Well, you know, American Psycho. This completely sick book about a psycho killer in New York. He rented Body Double 29 times. You know the Brian De Palma movie? Oh, sick movie. Anyway, he watched this one sequence over and over again, where the husband, he's the killer, he's got the wife on the floor and he's got this giant drill, okay? And this guy, the hero's downstairs trying to get to her and this dog from hell's got him by the arm and he's on the floor and he's hearing the drilling, looking up at the ceiling, right? Meanwhile, the husband is over the wife and she's screaming her fucking tits off, right? And then the husband drills the poor bitch right through the heart. <laughs> The drill thrusts through the ceiling. He's too late. Blood, guts. She's history. Yeah, OK, that's really good, but I've got to go. You mark my words. That's where you'll find this freak, in the video database, watching the sickest videos he can, like a, a cancer eating his brain, getting sicker by the minute. Yeah, that's good. Look, Andrew, I'll um, see you in a couple of days. Yeah, see you, Detective. You gotta love that movie. Sure. I'm gonna take a slash. Well, don't piss on the floor. Mate, when I hang it out, it hangs inside the rim. <laughs> In your dreams. <laughs> Jane, this is the best feed I've had since, well, since the last time we got together. And yeah, that was great, Jane, thanks. Don't you aim at the china? So how's it going, babe? I've been better. Well, you've got problems with Ruth. Ruth? Fuck, haven't you heard? We're history. No, no one told me. Yeah, another one bites the dust. I guess we're all single again, eh? Single. If God wanted cops to have lasting relationships, he wouldn't have given them... What? Wouldn't have given them what? <coughs> eh? Give it to you, you spongehead. <coughs> I'm sorry, mate. Yeah, me too. Anyway, she was a bitch. Someone else was snaking her pussy on the side. Well, at least you can laugh about it, eh? Yeah, now. It was a pain in the ass for a while. Oh, really? Anyway, that's nothing compared to what's gonna go down. Christ, what is his fucking problem? You should have been a fireman, not a cop. 
What's going to go down? Well, you know the big smack busting K-Zone? Yeah. Well, the key collar was... Uh... My stooge when he speaks. Uh-oh. What? Wow. Well, and guess what? He ain't going down quietly. What's that? He's telling me that Chris's dog got hauled by drugs. Oh, uh, yeah, so I heard. When did you hear? Last week. Well, why didn't you tell me? Didn't want to worry you. Jesus, Rummy. Anyhow, we heard you had a psych last week. Well, don't look at me. Why don't you give one side the ass? Get the drugs. Fraud. Someone with a bit less baggage. Not to mention a bit more spondula. There's no profit in stiffs. Getting out was the best thing we ever did. Did you put them up to this? Get out of here. We're concerned. All three of us. Remember last time? You barely got through, mate. We heard about the autopsy, Jane. You're too close. If you can't watch a kid being boned... And feel nothing. And you've got to get out. The writing's on the wall. It's as plain as a nose on your face. You finished? Yeah. I doubt so. Good. Let's leave it at that then, shall we? OK. It's left. Back there. Way behind. I'll get dessert. Heads up, Pencil. How's life in showbiz? Detectives. What are you doing in here tonight, huh? It's, uh, it's not Wednesday already, is it? Oh, we were just passing Dickless and we thought we'd drop in. Why aren't you happy to see us? No. No, no, I'm, I'm always happy to see you guys. And pig's ass. What are you up to? Check it out, Bingo. Oh, my God. Hey! I don't want no trouble! Oh, come on, Miss Johnson. Look. You know, it's like a special night tonight and that, and I just don't want to trouble and stuff. Hey, I've got your pick-up if you want it. Hey, you can take some more. Hey, this settle down, it. mate. Hey, careful. Spider, mongrel, bastard. What do you think of? Baby gash. Filipino. There's a crowd of punters in there. Yeah, what are you going to convince the Rockies, you dirty little asshole? Come on. Oh, I'm begging you. Freak. Is this how you respect our trust? No. I'm calling the G's, Bingo. We're going to ream all these freaks. No, no, no. no. So it's worth money. How much? Um, a grand. Oh. You can do better than that. That's all I've got. It's honest. Well, it's not near enough to buy you out of this, you miserable little shit. Oh, OK. OK. Information. I'll... Give me some information. Oh, my God. All right, OK. Um, um... How about some dope on that kid killer? You know, Mr. Creep. Are you interested? Yeah, yeah I thought so. What do you know? One of our clients reckons that he knows this guy, you know, this Mr. Creep or whatever the fuck he's called. <laughs> One of your clients. <laughs> Don't jerk my chain, you hey, little bastard. Come on, it's honest, mate. He's a lawyer. Or something, you know. He's no bullshitter. He knows the guy. Yeah, and so do half the Rockies in Melbourne. We've had it all before, up, Brian. Straight up, Mr. Wright, straight up. OK? He, he says he knows things, you know, that he does to the kids and stuff. Things, you know, that only the cops know. Such as? Is this information good enough for you? You know, you're going to give us a break. It's the payoff and we'll let you know. So? Yeah. What's the fucking thing, Joseph? Okay. Nobody knows! Alright, alright, okay. He bites him, okay? He says he bites their little titties off. Hey. I'm right, aren't I? Huh? See? I told ya. Who's his client? What's his fucking name? Hey, you gonna give us a break? You know, like, is the info good enough for you? We'll still be taking the grand. Get us. Ah! Jesus, mate, who picked this bloody film? Andrew from the video. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Shit, when are we going to turn those things off? No, that's mine. It's not mine. <laughs> 01481831, urgent. It's a tone smoke, wasn't it? Oh, bugger if I want, huh? What does she want? Hi, Tone. Yeah, hi, it's me, man. Just got your message. What's up? 
Yeah. Jesus, how good is it? Okay. All right. Yeah, bye. Jesus, Robbie. We got a red hot on the creep. Listen, I want to see my lawyer. I know my rights. You can't hold me in like this, like one of your scum. Dickheads. I'm going to have you up on charges. You hear me? Your history. You watch your language, Mr. Dillio. We won't detain you long. We just need a bit of help with a few inquiries. A few inquiries? Gee, you're a bit of a comedian, aren't you? Well, I'm going to have you sacked from the force. How would you like that, Mr. Funny Man? Dillio. That's a well-known minute detective. Sounds like it to me. Are you a bit of a spit, Mr. D. Leo? You look a little like the greasy soldier. Jesus Christ. Racist patter as well. Gee, you must be top men. Where'd you learn the ropes, Police Academy 6? <laughs> we'll make the joke, Alan. Or should I say, Alessandro. That's your real first name, isn't it, Mr. D. Leon? Yes, so what? Where else you hiding? What other dark little secrets you got, eh, Alessandro? I want to see my lawyer. What about my rights? Oh, fuck your rights, you prick. You don't have any. Ooh, I am so scared. I'm going to piss my pants with fright. Mm -hmm. Looks like we got us a tough guy, detective. So nothing phases you, eh, Alessandro? We know you're a chicken hawk, Alice, or whatever your fucking name is. Mate, what are you talking about? We know all about your little secret. You like to root little boys, eh? Younger the better, you chicken hawk pervert. Mate, what are you talking about? Butter wouldn't melt in his mouth, eh, detective? You've been fingered, sucker. You're a lawbreaker. A dick sucking ring buster. And you're going down, my friend. No way. You bastard's got nothing on me. I want to see my lawyer. So who is he? Mate, who is he? Great ass fuck! Now we know you know who he is! Just tell us who he is, Alan. We're not interested in you. Listen to me. I want my lawyer. Hear me? I want my fucking lawyer! This will be sticky if I don't come back with something. Yeah, fucking oath. I'd like to beat it out of the prick. Yeah, will fucking go for it. Make sure I'm out of here before you do. Not risking it for that piece of shit. What do you think about this creep connection? Come on, Rob. Here's save a spruker. You shit me if you reckon that'll stand up against a suit. Here we go. Check out these goodies from the nest. This should get him shitting. Don't bet on it. He planned up as soon as we mentioned creepy, only talks lawyer. Well, he's going to row on these. Inadmissible evidence, not to mention a shitload of trouble for us. Search and seizure sounds warrant. Wouldn't have beat Remus with that. Mm, that's good. He's getting edgy. How far are you going to go? All the way if I have to. Robbie, you in or out? In, JJ. I said I'm going all the way. Boys? I reckon we've come about as far as we can on this one. What do you reckon, Chris? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we'll take it from here. Well, let's piss off. So how do you want to play it? I'm worse. Of course you are. Come on, you pigs! I've been here for bloody hours! What's going on? Yeah, OK, Alan, calm down. Please sit down, Mr. DeLeon. We won't be keeping you too much longer. I'm sorry about the delay. Oh, bitch as well now, huh? What's the matter, funny man? Can I handle the pace? Sit down, please. What? That's a fucking assault, asshole. Gee, you pricks are really in shit. I'm gonna love suing you for everything you've got. What about something you've got? What's that? You tell us. Well, I don't know. Sure you do. 
I found it under the Baroque Four poster, very tacky. Wait a minute, you beat him on ass. We had a warrant. Shit, you bastards. I can't believe it, you invaded my privacy. I'd like to know the name of the man known as Mr. Cribb. Now, we know you know him. Just tell us, Alan, and it'll save us a whole lot of grief. I want my lawyer! Oh, you scumbag, or I'll charge you with possessing indecent material! So find me, you slut. Cuff him, detective. What are you doing? Fuck! What the fuck's going on? Can you get me a cup of coffee, detective? Nothing for the prison. What the fuck's going on? What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Come, let me go! Perhaps I can jog your memory, Mr. DeLeon. <laughs> Got him. Sort of hovering like a jellyfish. See, Jerry? It's been in the drink for weeks, by the look. Yeah, this is a fine bloody state of affairs. I'll take it none of us are interested in pulling that bastard out. What do you reckon? I'll make a suggestion. Yeah. How about we ignore the brick? What? Can we do that? Mate, we're cops. We can do anything we like. Well, I'm sure Sal ain't gonna complain. Or blab. No bloody way. Okay, let's just leave the poor prick to the fishes and get the fuck out of here. Hang on a sec, it's floating around the ship. Someone's bound to spot it sooner or later. That's easy fixed. What the fuck are you doing? Just letting down his tyres. They'll sink like a stone. Out of sight, out of mind. Homicide. Speaking. We're doing our job, sir. Don't hand me that bullshit. You intimidated one of my key stooges. Now he's backed out. You're in deep shit. Is this why you called us to tell us something we already know? Back off. What will be worse for you, understand? Is that a threat, detective? That's a promise, detective. We've got our own investigation. You're barking up the wrong bloody tree on that one, Missy. As far as I'm concerned, we're this close to nailing the creep. And I'm going to keep barking until he goes down, understand? Hello? De Leon will be filing assault charges, and I'll be liaising with IOD Direct. You're the one who's going to go down, you stupid cow. So what do you reckon about that? Hey? What do I reckon about what? Oh, come on, he's shit scared. It's bloody him. You heard the prick. We're in deep shit. We've nailed that bastard. With what? There's no proof. Oh, no? Read it and weep, my friend. He's been interstate for two years. Get this. From July 92 to April 93 in Perth, then Brisbane. He's been back two months. The similars correspond to his time in both those places. I reckon he's working on some sort of covert we don't know about. No, that first kid in Perth, September 92. 
A couple of months after his posting. Nah, there's got to be some explanation for it. Oh, come on, Robbie, it all fits. The Melbourne activities, the interstate similars happened when Brown was in the vicinity. We know the creep's forensic smart. And he always seems one step ahead, like he knows what's going on, like he's got inside information. No, I reckon the prick's fitting Brown up. Some sort of payback. Jesus, we've seen that before. No, Delil knows too much. He could have only got it from the horse's mouth. Brown's a ranking officer. Of course he'd know about the creep withhelds. I reckon he's working on a case. Maybe some sort of chicken hawk bust, and he's told De Leon. You don't know him, do you? How do I know him? You worked a couple of the creeps, thought you might have come across him? No fucking way. I never fucking met him. Well, you're doing a great job of sticking up for All him. All I'm saying is what internals will say. This is dished up to them. What do you mean, if? Well, even if it is true, I mean, how are we ever going to prove I it? I don't need any more proof. Look, if it comes to it, are you in or out? Are you out of your fucking mind? Well, you're on your own on this one. From now on, it's every man for himself. You hear me? Cuffs up, will you? Skin him, mate. Uncuff me, Oh, Jesus. Fucking What's ribs. That prick busted me fucking ribs. Fucking worked me over in that shit all that. I mean, good to see you, man. Don't worry about him, mate. We'll have a little chat. We'll work it out. Cheers, man. If I can't get some of my mates, man, I'll fucking show him, mate. I'll bust his fucking arm, mate. Bust his fucking legs. Who is that prick? That fucking Rex. Fucking asshole, man. Oh, shut the fuck up, Ronnie. Let's get some fucking arm. Take Logo Street, man. Yeah. Oh, man. She's suffering from a sense of personal responsibility. It's not uncommon in cases such as these. First time I've heard of it. It's not uncommon. Remember, believing themselves to be one of the few people in a position to identify a perpetrator to feel a substantial burden of guilt when that perpetrator continues offending. Burden grows exponentially with each new offence. Yes, yes. Can we cut to the chase, please, Doctor? Your recommendations. I can only recommend, in the light of current events, that Detective Wilson be given a substantial period of time off, as soon as possible, and as far away from work as possible. So, Wilson, looks like it's settled. Looks like it. Don't be a smart ass with me, Detective. You're a bee's dick away from a suspension, understand? Yes, sir. I'll call in some of your leave, and you can keep your bloody head down that this whole thing blows over. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. All right, then. I'll have your Freddy and your service issue. So I am suspended, sir. Oh, I've kept it off your record. But for all intents and purposes, you're out until further notice. You're Freddy and your gun. Now, detective. Tell Detective Walsh to come in your way out. Go smoke, mate. Oh, look, it's painkillers, man. You're a big guy, man. You really fucking work me. I think I busted a fucking rib, man. Oh, you oh, fucking idiot. Two oh, ounces, two fucking ounces. Oh, fuck. Mr. Hill. Fuck. I didn't know, honest, huh? Fuck, I thought it was small time, man. I was set up. Oh, you know, man, I was fucking set up. Fucking hope you were set up. For ten years without parole, that's what, mate. Hey, nah. Nah, nah, I can't go to Pentridge, man. I won't last ten minutes in that place, man. You're Ronnie. gonna get me off. Ronnie. You fucking owe me! Hey, listen to me. You gotta go down on this one, mate. Nah, mate. Nah. Listen to me. I'm not fucking kidding with you here. I can get a sentence reduction. I can pull a few strings, mate. But you're not getting out of this one. It's too big. Fuck, Mr. You, after what I've fucking done for you, man, I'll put my fucking life on the line for you. You, you know that. Fix me inside, man. Look, mate, you know I'd do it if I could. You know that. This is too big. You've got to take the knock here. 
You gotta take the knock. It's the only way, mate. Hey? Eh? Well, you're coming down with me, fucker. No. No, I don't want to hear that, Ronnie. No. Ronnie! I've looked after you, mate. Oh, well, fuck, it's a two-way street. I've got to protect myself, mate. I've got to protect myself. Look at me. Look at me. Protect myself. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Be real fucking smart here. Be real fucking smart. No, well, what about now, look, me? I'll look after you, mate. Nah. But you got to go down what here. What about me? i got to think about me. What about my girl? What about my kid? I gotta think of myself, you understand? Yeah, fuck. <laughs> Don't worry about it, mate. Yeah, fuck. I understand, mate. <sighs> Here, mate. <laughs> Pick it up. <laughs> Pick it up. Drop it! What the fuck? Chris, give us your gun. What? Give us your fucking gun. We brought him back to the crime scene. He said he was going to reveal pertinent information, okay? Fuck. He had a stuck over there in the wall. Fuck. Pulled out a gun. Fuck. Ignored our warnings and we opened fire. Fuck. What's up? Oh, don't get upset. Robbie asked me to drop in. He's worried about you. We all are. About me or what I might say to IRD? Shit, Jane, there's no need for that. Well, tell him not to worry. I'm no dog. This is a whole other thing. Look, don't sweat about Brown. Vice have been trailing him for months. We've dug enough shit to bury the prick. As a creep? <laughs> Mate, he's a bent cop, not a psycho. We haven't seen anything like that. Then you haven't been trailing him close enough. Jane? I know what it's like when the devil's on your back. Sooner or later, you'll do anything to shake it off. But you've got to keep your perspective. <laughs> Jesus. What fucking manual did you get that from? I'm in the job too, mate. Oh, look, I'm sorry, Tony. I didn't mean that. I'm on edge, OK? Look, I, I know you're worried about me and I appreciate it. I really do. Us girls have got to stick together. I better go. Hang in there, all right? Robbie doesn't know him, does he? Um, what did he say? Forget it. I'll see you later. of two detectives and was subsequently shot dead while trying to escape. It is a They're friends of yours, aren't they, Walshy? Well, Robbie, looks like you'll have some company in the dog house, eh? <laughs> Get stuffed. Oh, by the way, JJ called yesterday, wanted some soccer bits. Guess she's still working, is she? Can't keep a good cop down, my friend. <laughs> Did you give her any? Of course. Oh, Chris. 
SOC 9-1-3-4. The dismembered one. Hey. What the fuck she want to watch that for? I gotta go. Don't you want to count it? We trust you. Well, that'd be a first. So, you never made that tip off, right? What tip off? We haven't spoken to Wilson in weeks. Beautiful. Yeah, it'll probably come to nothing. Robbie reckons he can contain it. Yeah, but just in case he can't, we've got to be prepared. And we can count on you guys here? Yeah? Mate, if she rolls over all the shit. Don't even think about it. What do you reckon about Hill, eh? <laughs> Jesus, I mean, that took some balls. Shit, yeah, we did not see that one coming. No, you guys fitted him up. He'd been warned about muscling into Brown's business. Yeah, he's got no one to blame but himself. Oh, OK, OK, keep your shirt on. Hill will cop a little bit of grief, but nothing he can't handle. Well, Spinks was scum, no one gives a shit about him. <laughs> Believe me, the world is a better place without that maggot. Brother's coming through, eh? Have you ever thought that there might be something what Wilson's saying? No fucking way. Brown is a businessman, not like a childcare. Anyway, we're all making far too much money to entertain any of that sort of bullshit. And on that note... Cheery bye. Yeah, you've been detected my friend. Can't come to the phone, leave a message. Every day's got a moment. Mine was on a creep case. The second one. Frankie Dawson. I'd been to autopsies before. I'd had my fair share of highway and meat shows, you know. But Frankie was my moment. We got a sniff that maybe the body had been stashed out on this farm, so we went out for a look-see. Just another follow-up in a long list. He'd been gone two months. I'm walking across this yard. And suddenly I'm looking at myself walking across this yard and I'm thinking... This is like a dream. It was like I was just watching. Over in the corner was this drum, this 44-gallon drum about this high. And there was smoke coming out of it, coming out of the holes in it, the space under the lid. I'm walking towards it thinking, Jesus, there's a fire in there. 
And I'm walking towards it, knowing something's going to happen. But on the ground, I'm just thinking there's a fire in there. And I can hear the crackling and the flames burning. I grab a stick because I know the lid's going to be hot. And I knock off the lid and all this smoke comes pouring out, this thick black smoke pumping out into the air. And the smoke clears a little. And I'm moving my head in for a look at the fire and I'm thinking, this smoke's alive. Only it's not smoke. It's flies. And then I see Frankie. His little face, all blotchy black puffy. And he's blinking up at the light. He's squinting up in the light. His face is moving. And he's trying to say something. It's maggots. And he's trying to say something to me. The next thing I know, I'm lying flat on my back. With sickle down my front. And Robbie's standing over me saying, it's all right, it's all right. And he's mopping up the sick. <laughs> he's cleaning me up like a mother, saying, it's all right, Jane, it's all right. Every day, every single day, I see Frankie's face. And I know what he's saying. He's saying, help me. His black little mouth. He's saying, help me, Jane. Gonna need your pegs for this one, fellas. Oh, Jesus, don't tell me. Right and ready to burst. Oh, shit. Well, off you go then. Ah, the chain of command. It's a beautiful thing. You're not wrong. Who's there? Senior Detective Brown. Yeah, do I know you? We've spoken before on the telephone. Detective Wilson from Homicide. If you are here about those fucking charges, forget it. I'm gonna have your fucking ass. What you did was despicable. You are guilty of the abductions what? and murders what? of five children in the Melbourne metropolitan area. You are guilty of the abductions and murders of three children in the cities of Perth and Brisbane in the two-year period just gone. You wearing a white? Is this what this is about, is it? Hello? I deny everything the stupid bitch has said. Is that happy, happy levels for the way, you stupid fucking cow? I'm gonna have your fucking ass. You're gone! 
The sentence is death. What? <laughs> stupid fucking bitch, you really are fucking stupid! <laughs> you really think you're gonna get me? <coughs> Stupid fucking cow. <coughs> See this? You think you're gonna get me? Hey? See what you fucking did to me? You think you're gonna get help with your partner? He's my fucking partner! He's in deeper than me! <coughs> Come on, Jane, we're gonna go. What? What? You knew. Just business to me, Jane. You gotta understand that. You owe me favors now. Now put it down. Put it down. Just you and me, Jane. Just you and me.
Pequeña mea 